So after college, I didn't really know how to market myself. I attended my first uh, SACE National Conference and I really liked it. And from there, I did get my first job offer. One thing I do regret in college is not going to National Conference. For me, um, you have the typical uh, student reasons. It costs a lot of money. You have to take out time from school. You have to make up the work and whatnot. But after going to my first conference, I realized it's kind of like you meet a lot of people, they become family, and you just have this awesome network. So one thing that was important for me in coming to say is like what keeps me coming is just like the amount of people that I meet and like the different types of people that I've met. And I just have a lot of fun just being here and like seeing like all my friends from all over and like meeting new people and like talking to recruiters, seeing like if I can make that connection for a student with that recruiter. If you have the opportunity to volunteer and plan a conference, it really makes me feel great about the work that I've done. I enjoyed it so much that I came back this year again because I wanted to improve the science presence. And so now this year, like we have a couple of people with science backgrounds actually as workshop presenters. It's really meaningful for me to see others grow and helping them reach their full potential and for me to give back to a cause that I believe in. I've definitely enjoyed a lot more kind of like mentoring other people to become leaders themselves. This is my first SACE event. The leadership uh, workshop is what I held. I'm very privileged, I'm honored to talk about how I came into a STEM career. We want these innovators to be good at the technical skills but be able to balance it out with leadership and management skills, which every employer wants. Go out and take the initiative and find your mentors, sponsors early on in your career because they're gonna help shape you. We have hundreds of STEM disciplines. Hopefully they, they take away from that and see that the Army is maybe just another pathway to get to their dreams. Well, I have spoken at every single SACE conference so far except one and I really love SACE. I've been involved uh, since the beginning of the conferences and I really believe that what SACE does is, is going to help, really help with diversity, really shift the workforce and change our thinking uh, to create the next generation of leaders. What makes Unlimit U different is it's one of the rare programs that focuses on Asian American leadership, but specifically for science, engineering, technologies. The attendees were, were hyper-engaged. Uh, we talked quite a bit. They asked very challenging questions. They gave really strong insights. And I know it went well if they're helping me to learn something. My name is Conrad. I'm studying aerospace and mechanical engineering, so SACE is the perfect spot for me. My past two days have been also exciting. I got to do a tour at Northrop, and I also was part of the networking events, as well as uh, did the Six Sigma white belt certifications. I was able to interview with Northrop Grumman. Um, the interview process was amazing, and I was able to get an offer. Definitely an exciting day. 